Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I am here with a new program which is on Elevator Advanced. This is the uh, factory scene of Elevator Advanced and here I have the program of Elevator Advanced. So someone has asked me to do this program in the function block. So when uh, you uh, so when do you use this function block? So when you have this uh, have this same machine more than one so you are you you have done the program for one machine and you uh, you want to do it for the uh, second one so you are putting all your networks all these 15 networks that i have for the uh, i have for the elevator advanced so you are putting all these 15 uh, 15 networks in one block one function block uh, this is this this is also a function block so you are uh, let's go to add new block so so from here you can you can add function block or function so when you have mo uh, the same system more than once then you are going to use this function block and function to make things easy and by using this you are going to uh, ease your work you are going to reduce reduce your work so otherwise you are not going to use this function block or function so doesn't matter if you if you even use this function block and function you uh, you 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 have to come in the main ob1 then you are going to put uh, then you are going to take a function or function block in the main ob1 and into that function or function block you are putting all these 15 networks so you have to do your program in the main ob1 so that doesn't mean if you're taking this function block and function you are going out of the main ob1 so you have to come to the main ob1 then you have to do the pro program otherwise you are not using the function or function block so i have i am providing this program so let's go to the factory io scene so in this scene the first conveyor which is at the bottom is known as the conveyor zero and uh, this is the, this is my uh, this blue this uh, blue thing is the elevator which has a which is which has a conveyor at the bottom and this is known as the load conveyor so so when this stackable stackable box this is the stackable box so when i switch on this system so stackable box will come uh, will go from the conveyor zero to the load conveyor this load conveyor will move up and take the raw materials this is the raw materials green raw materials and blue raw materials so the first uh, raw material will be collected from this conveyor this is the conveyor one then the second raw material will be collected from the uh, we collected from the uh, uh, conveyor two this is the conveyor two and the third raw material will be collected from the conveyor three this is the conveyor three then again the the load conveyor will move down and the stackable stackable box will collect the fourth fourth raw material from the conveyor two and the fifth from the conveyor one so after collecting all the five raw materials uh, the load conveyor load conveyor will come down and move towards the exit conveyor the conveyor at the end is the exit exit conveyor so let's go to the tia portal program so this network 2 is for the start switch when you are going to press this uh, start switch let me zoom in the switchboard um, electric board uh, electric board press three times in a row so so this is my electric board so when i'm going to press this start button uh, the system will start to work so this is uh, this is for uh, this is just for the uh, start the system and uh, start the led light on the start switch so next program uh, next network is for the stop switch this is the this is my stop switch so when the program is running if i press the uh, press this switch the whole system will be paused and if i again press this switch the system will uh, start to work from that position so network uh, network 3 is for the stop uh, stop switch or pause or unpause the system and network 4 is the uh, network 4 is for the conveyor 0 uh, this is this is the conveyor 0 uh, the uh, the conveyor at the bottom bottom is the conveyor 0 this is the conveyor 0 so so network 4 is for the conveyor 0 mm. this is this is the, uh, this is the part for conveyor 0 and then i have the network 5 this whole network 5 is for the 
load conveyor which is which one is the load conveyor the conveyor at the bottom of the elevator the small conveyor this is the load this is also known as the load conveyor so this part is for the uh, this part is for the load conveyor so when the boxes the stackable, stackable box will go in the this load conveyor will move move up to collect the raw materials so network 5 is for the load conveyor then i have the counter this counter will count five raw materials and uh, after taking all those uh, five raw materials the stackable box will move move forward to the exit conveyor so network 7 is for the elevator set point elevator set point means i have used the analog output so if i if i send 0 0.6 if i send 0 0.6 to the uh, elevator that means th this load conveyor will move uh, move uh, move a little bit further towards the conveyor uh, towards the conveyor one so that is how i have designed so that is uh, so this is analog output so 0 0.6 for collecting the first first one uh, then with the with the delay then uh, for the second box i will be uh, for the second box i have used 4.4 which is analog output and the third raw material will be collecting from the conveyor 3 so 8.2 is the analog output here the load conveyor will move down from the conveyor uh, conveyor 3 this is the conveyor 3 to conveyor 2 to collect the fourth box so uh, this is the uh, th this is for again for the fourth box counter uh, but why the why this is 3 because to collect the first box the counter has the value of zero that is why when this value is three you are collecting the fourth raw material then we have the uh, counter counter value four that means again this load conveyor the conveyor which is at the bottom uh, this will uh, come come uh, come down here and collect the fifth collect the fifth raw material uh, fifth raw material so this is for the fifth raw material so why this is the why the delay is added the delay is added because uh, if you don't add this delay the load conveyor will immediately come down when when uh, raw material will cross this cross this uh, cross this uh, sensor this is the sensor the when the raw material will touch this sensor the box will immediately come down or go up that is why i have made this delay 1200 millisecond that means 1.2 second to collect the box then move up or down so this is the analog output to collect the boxes from the different conveyors then i have the conveyor one so conveyor one the uh, when the when the load conveyor will move up move here at, at the 0 0.6 position the first uh, the first raw material will come down and the stackable box will collect the uh, uh, collect the raw material from the conveyor one so conveyor win, uh, one will give you the first box and the fifth box so then i have the conveyor two the same way the the load conveyor will move up or down to uh, to collect the raw material from conveyor two. So conveyor two will give you the second uh, second uh, raw material and the fourth raw material. So finally, I have the conveyor three, which will give you the third raw material. So third raw material will be collected from the top conveyor, which is at the top. That will give you the conveyor at the top will give you the. So this is the third conveyor. The conveyor at the top. This will give you the third uh, third raw material so third raw material then i have the exit conveyor so after collecting all the five box uh, five raw materials the stackable box will move to the uh, move to the exit conveyor so this is the exit conveyor the conveyor at the end so what i have done is when the uh, when the conveyor when the stackable box will pass this sensor uh, pass this sensor this is the sensor the sensor here uh, let me zoom zoom it more so this is the sensor the sensor if you can see let me zoom more so this is the uh, this is the sensor at the end of the load con so when the stackable box have collected all the five raw materials and start then then when the load conveyor will totally come down then the load conveyor will 
start to uh, start to move the stackable box from uh, this load conveyor to the exit conveyor so when the stackable box is has touches the sensor the exit conveyor the exit conveyor let me zoom out the exit conveyor will start to work and then the stackable when the stackable box will pass this sensor the sensor uh, this is the sensor so when the stackable box will pass this sensor the exit conveyor will be well, will stop working so the box will stop here so for the uh, uh, so this will be in loop and uh, and it will continue to work until you make it stop so network 12 is for the indicator lights so when the load conveyor uh, let load conveyor move to the conveyor one for collecting the collecting the fast raw material this indicator light will be on and when the load conveyor will move towards to the conveyor two to collecting the second raw material then this indicator light will be on and the and for the uh, third raw material this indicator light will be one that means the load conveyor uh, has moved up to collect the third raw material so this is for uh, this is the uh, network 12 for switching on of on or off the indicator lights so this part is uh, again for the indicator lights which indicator uh, there is also indicator lights for the conveyors so each conveyor has this indicator light where uh, when when the when the conveyor is not working this conveyor 0 or conveyor 1 or conveyor 2 so each conveyor has one indicator light this is the conveyor 2 conveyor 2 has also an indicator light and this is the conveyor 0 conveyor 0 and this is the indicator light for the conveyor 0 conveyor 3 also has an indicator light so when the conveyor is running the green light the green light is on this is the green light here the green light will be on uh, this is the green light the green light green indicator will be on and the when this uh, when this conveyor is off the red the red indicator will be on so for the on uh, on situation the green green indicator will be on and for the uh, off situation the red indicator will be on so this is this is for the uh, conveyor one green one conveyor one red one so I have designed this also for the other two conveyors, conveyor 2 and conveyor 3. So each conveyor has one indicator light. Network is for the display. So uh, when the when the stack, stackable box is collecting the raw materials, the display will show you the number of raw materials that has collected by the stackable box. So you can see here here on the display that stackable box how many how many raw materials are collected by the load conveyor or the stackable box which is on the load conveyor. Finally, I have the network 15 which is also for another indicator. There is the indicator light uh, on the on the mounted on the elevator. So when this load conveyor is moving up or down, so when it is moving on the run, then is then this indicator will glow. So network 15 is for this indicator light or the warning light so that that's the all network 15 for the elevator advance so let's run the factory I've seen uh, let's zoom in the electric uh, electric board uh, press the uh, press here three times in a row uh, then uh, then close this one uh, let's like run the factory IO uh, Stop and cause the system. This display is showing one because I have used the sensor with where I have used the uh, positive S for counting the uh, counting the. So I am uh, switching on this uh, switching on this system. That means the sensor got the first pass, the positive S. That is why this uh, this display is showing one. So reset the system, put the system into auto mode, and press the start button and uh, let's zoom out. Let's go to the full view. So the stack stackable box is, ca uh, is coming into the load conveyor. So load conveyor is moving up, the indicator is glowing. And there is also a green light because this one is running. Now this is red light because that is stop. So when the stackable, uh, stackable box or the load conveyor is moving, th then and only then this, uh, this indicator is glowing. So first 
uh, first raw material has collected from this conveyor conveyor one second one is from the conveyor two and third one from the conveyor three then again this one will come down to collect the fourth raw material from the conveyor two this uh, this is the fourth raw material and the fifth one will be collected from the conveyor one so after collecting all the raw materials the load conveyor is moving this stackable box to the exit conveyor so when the stackable box has passed the sensor the exit conveyor has turned off so you can also do is uh, here is the uh, exit conveyor so you can remove this switch uh, if you remove this switch then the exit conveyor uh, will 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 be continuously running until you press the reset button so now if i let's let's uh, zoom the let's zoom it a bit the electric switch board i want to press the stop button or the pause button so this is the pause button if i press this pause button the system will uh, the system will uh, will stop at the situation except for running the elevator the elevator will uh, this is the analog output so that uh, that won't be uh, that you you won't be able to stop this elevator uh, to move up or down when uh, it is collecting the box so for that moment uh, you cannot pause the system otherwise everything will be paused so if you press this red button again or the stop button the system will be again unpaused and uh, will start to work from where you left off so my system is working a bit slower because of my PC configuration otherwise uh, it will run smoothly if you have PC, a good PC configuration I am also running the screen recorder so that is another reason my PC is working a bit slower so let's zoom in the electric board again uh, zoom in the electric board so here you can see uh, this these are the indicator lights let's uh, let uh, the stackable box come into the uh, load conveyor so when the load conveyor has went for the first raw materials this indicator was on and when the load conveyor has gone to the has gone to collect the second raw materials so this was on and for the third raw materials so that means the load conveyor has reached to the uh, conveyor C3 so that is all about the all about this indicator light so if you want to reset the system just uh, reset, press this switch and the system will reset so that is all about the program for today uh, we'll see you guys with a new program in the next video till then take care and goodbye